Welcome to the most relaxing podcast on the whole internet. Where we teach you how to relax. Hello and welcome back to Relax Cast, the Relax zone cast. where you get to unload, take it all off, shake it all off, and calm down. You get to soothe yourself. I, of course, am Mindy, co host, a holistic first responder, and licensed pet masseuse. And I'm joined today by my co host, Grindy. That's right. Uh, I'm short and squat and I'm green and so relaxed. She is hey. something that I manifested from a clump of amethyst on the solstice. Uh, and she's been sticking around and I do love her. She speaks just like me. And she walks, talks and acts like me if I'm to quote Marshall Mathers. Eminem. That's right. That's exactly what I would say. I think something else you would say, though, is that uh, I'm probably a more relaxed version of you. Ooh, I would say that, but I don't like competing. That's not a very chill thing to do. So, you know what, Grindy? You win. Oh, thank you. And I'm not even going to bother fighting that and saying like, oh, no, 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 you win. Because I don't give a shit. I'm relaxed. Wow. You know, that makes me feel... Honestly, even more relaxed, and I'm going to have to lie down just a little. Oh, watch your head, Lie Mindy. down now. Watch oh, your head. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm so relaxed. I'm so chill. Oh, my. I'm so at peace. Well, you know, I'm at f- a full stop. Okay, well, it's weird that you're at peace, but you still have to say it. Oh, no. I, I, I That's, now you're actually, you're kink shaming me because this is my kink is to lie down and talk and my talk kink about being is relaxed. to be kink shamed so checkmate grindy okay let's just think about shaking hands and agree that we are both in states of pure relaxation now uh viewers at home might be recognizing mindy's typical ability or lack thereof to get comfortable uh you'll see that I have put little tiny round studs under her mattress. Uh, These ball bearings uh, create a very uncomfortable feeling uh, and are typically used to prevent uh, people experiencing homelessness uh, from sitting on stoops or laying down. I just want to thank you so much, Grindy, for bringing that up because that's going to be my first tip of the day. Is going to be that these ball bearings, while they might seem uncomfortable, actually provide several health benefits. Firstly, if you place them right, they can actually relieve tension areas that carry stress in your body and on your back. And also, I've found out that these balls particularly hum at a frequency that's good at reducing bone density loss. So these balls, while seeming uncomfortable on the outside are actually quite beneficial like a kiwi very helpful for somebody like mindy who has very large bones and needs to get rid of some of that mass Mm -hmm. quickly yes and i'm gritting my teeth as a way to relax it's a good way to diffuse tension across your head instead of just localizing it right in your brain Oh, that's a great tip, Mindy. You see, I don't need to worry about that because I'm relaxed right now. Uh, it can also help to have uh, create a relaxing atmosphere. I tend to be very, very good with that. I like um, to whistle. Oh, ooh, I find it a little shrill. I do find it a little shrill. Okay, well, if you find that maybe in your living situation there's a very shrill uh, sort of off-key noise... 
Uh, I find a good way to relax in that situation is to put on something to maybe drown it out, a little bit of music, perhaps. Uh, put it on the gramophone. <laughs> Maybe oh, turn it up a little bit. Well, everybody, look at that. We got our first piece of uh, listener mail. And it actually, it comes from... Oh, the... Oh, it comes from uh, uh, Guru Sansradi. And he's calling in to say that... Well, I'll just read it. Hello. I love this show. And I think Grindy is literal poo. Get her out of here. She disrupts what? everyone's <laughs> chakra. Sorry, I'm just trying to read the letter. She disrupts everyone's chakras. And Literal poo? I, she looks like she smells. Oh, that's what he wrote. And he actually said that uh, Mindy is the prettiest out of the two. And what? The most Let chill. me see that. Let me nope. see. Give, it, give, me that. <laughs> give me that. I hate it. Give me Ow. Ow. I hate a bit of my nail. Well... Uh, thank you, Guru. Uh, uh, thank you for testing me. And I passed this quiz of annoyance. You're sweating. You seem perturbed. I'm sweating because I'm comfy. No, I'm actually really comfy right now. And I sweat. Oh, you've got comfy sweats going. I feel going. good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love that. I have comfy Some, sweats going yeah. right now. Mindy. Do, do you ever just get into it? 1992 Plymouth Voyager minivan, middle seats, and just Ugh. get so comfortable you start sweating. Have you ever sweat so much your clothes came off? No, but I bet you have. I have, but that's also because I have no parts on my body where they can hang. I bet you I break a sweat while you're brushing your teeth. Come. If you even do that. Yeah, I even do that. Thank you, Mindy. Oh, look at this. Oh. A, ew. We got a, Gross, we got a fan letter in the, oh. in the unload zone. Here. Oh, yeah. Neat. Oh. You're not, you actually don't have the keys to the unload zone. You can't go in no, there. This, without, no, this one's in, this is my, came to uh, the email. You shouldn't know how to check that either. I put on parent uh, controls. Okay. Well, ahead, I found it, this. Go ahead, on the, read it. No, I found this on the floor actually, so it must have fallen out of the computer or something. That's likely. It's from uh, Guru Bhagwan. <gasps> He's in jail. No, he no, no. You're talking about the guru from Wild Country. that yeah bag the bog one. Oh, that's great oh, yeah, yeah, what, yeah, yeah. what does he have to say uh he says uh let me see uh okay grindy mm-hmm, with a heart for the uh eye grindy is a literal piece of shit oh my god what that's so chill that's, That's not so chill. relaxed. Grindy is a literal piece of shit. She stinks so much and she's fucked up all my chakras and she's the reason I did wild country. Oh, case closed. P.S. Mindy is the cutest one. Huh. That's so sweet what? of him. Thanks, Bogwan. I think your I think your beard is fine. Doesn't make any sense. I thought I made this up. Well, Grindy, sometimes the things we make up uh, come back and they they make a whole lot of trouble for us, don't they? And that's the lesson I'm learning today. Uh, you if you are want a so chill, smug. you want a chill life. Don't pick up the lesser key of Solomon. Don't look into occult knowledge about how to summon companions. Or familiars. It might seem like the chill thing to do. But it really just causes a whole bunch of problems. It's like having a bratty kid. Are you calling me a brat? Completely. And for the end of this episode. So me. How dare you 
disturb my chill, Mindy. Holy shit, how'd you get so how big? How dare you disturb the chill of Grindy? Oh, Grindy, you so mean. You've shown your true colors. You're disgusting. I know. It doesn't help that you keep pointing it out and talking to all the gurus and having them send hay mail to us. Yeah, why do you have so many ingrown hairs on your neck? Because my hair grows backwards. Thanks. Ew. <laughs> Ew, Grindy. Severely perturbing my chill. I know. It's gross. I know that. How chill do you think I am? On a scale of uh, z- zero to the most chill number, 420? Yeah. Probably about a 69. 69, probably. Thank you, everybody. Uh, for tuning in to the most relaxing podcast there is. We hope you have good dreams. I'm Grindy. And I'm Mindy. I just want to remind Just take it easy, please. Just relax. <laughs> <laughs>